Hey, we are here at the world premiere of IT Chapter 2. Yes, Pennywise, the clown is back, and this time he wants revenge. You're ready to go backstage with the cast? You need to watch, you need to subscribe, or you'll float too. Um, guys, here we are again. Yes. yes. This is like a reunion for me too. Yes. You know, coming back for IT Chapter 2. Yeah, there it is. Did you guys uh, stay in touch? Yeah, yes. every day. You did? Every day. Too much. Too yeah, much, too, much. too much. It's kind of yeah, sad, right. actually, how much we talk to each other. No, <laughs> no, you guys. I mean, the chemistry so you can tell in the movie, oh. and it is. And um, I mean, that's that's kind of critical. But sometimes when there's movies, you know, with the sequels and stuff, and I'll ask that question, and like, oh no, we haven't seen each other till like today when we're doing interviews. Yeah, so yeah. Like, well, that's sad. We I mean, love each other kinda... too much. Well, we we don't see each other in person as often but, as we used to, but like texting all the time. Right. For sure. Like yeah. we try to keep in contact text. as much DM. as possible. DMs. DMs. Yeah, so <laughs> DMs. What was it like? Like to jump back into these characters, to jump back into like these roles. Um, I was great. I mean, it was just like second nature. So yeah. jumping back into it would be is you know, but you know we're so used to playing those characters, so it's pretty easy to jump back into it. Yeah, it was just cool to feel the energy again. You know, every role you get into has different energy, and the energy that these guys bring is like un is nothing like any other energy Dang. I've ever felt. Oh. And I hate yeah, how much I, I love feel you. it. I feel it. So yeah, you I was just excited. Feel it. Excited to get back. Like, I feel like I feel like we we are making a movie, but we don't go shooting. thinking we're making a movie. We just kind of hang out, and they just roll big cameras around us. Yeah. And we have words we have to say. There you go. That's a good way of looking blah, at it. Yeah. Okay, so is Pennywise just creepier this time around? Like yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, he wants he's revenge now. He's more strong. Yeah, twenty-seven he's years more strong. He's stronger. Yes. Sorry. No, he's um out for a bit of revenge, you could say. I mean, it, even in the trailers when he's talking about how he missed them. He wants to eat them very badly. Yes. <laughs> like, he's, they, I, all the losers have a death wish co going back to Derry. Something that I didn't ask the first time around, and I can't believe I didn't, but I'm going to ask today, because I did go back and watch your interviews, and I want you to be honest with me on this one, okay? okay. Anybody, show of hands, afraid of clowns? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable mm -hmm. with clowns. Okay. Not scared, not like, ah, not like yeah. a phobia. But I, you know, if a clown comes in, I wouldn't be like super like, "What's up, dude?" I'd kind of be like, "Oh, hey, hey, hey. a little more tightened." And uh... and I guess also, let me clarify: it would depend on the clown. The yes. clown, if, yes. the See, setting. If it's Pennywise, of course, so right. scared, so scared. But if it's just like Ronald McDonald, I'm like, right. "All right, what's up?" Like, we've been fighting a Pennywise, you know, so our our, our standards up here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So any other clown, it has a lot of competition. Yeah. To compete against. Exactly. You know? yeah, that'd be what was it like to see the grown-up characters of you all? Now, I understand you all, you don't have to tell me what you wrote, but you all wrote letters? Yeah. We did. Oh, no, right. we, well, we wrote in character um, right. to, our, to, our, to our older selves. We wrote letters. Yeah, we wrote letters. And you, did you actually write them, or did you, was it email? No, we no, wrote, no, no, we wrote them, them and then gave it to them. Gave it to them in, Very um, vintage. Yeah, Very vintage these old 80s. 80s. We wrote vintage. in 80s. What's email? Right. What's Before email? What's email? Well, gentlemen, Great to see you all again. Thanks so much, man. And hopefully there'll be number three. I know the book's over. Yeah, the book's uh, but, over. But the next time I'll see you guys again. What's up, losers? What's up? Yeah. Only time I could ever say that and not get punched. <laughs> so I had that ready to go. I've had that all practicing all morning. How was it? Was it okay? <laughs> that was good. Yeah, Delivery was, was okay? Yeah. yeah. So. Pretty on point, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, here we are again. Yes, here we are. are. How, how excited were you all when you saw that people were just flocking to the first one? I mean, were you just have been... Grinning like you are now. I mean, it, this movie was huge. Yeah. The first one. Were you guys just excited? It was super relieving. I mean, I was really stressed out about it because making like a reimagined movie is like such a hard thing to do, and and people were really upset about it at, at first. I mean, especially making a movie adaptation from from someone who's as legendary as Stephen King. It was mm -hmm. it was really nerve wracking, and the fact that it did so well was really relieving. It's amazing. What was it like to revisit Pennywise when you saw Bill on the set again? In that character, where you guys go, you're, you're, you're like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. It was nostalgic for us. I Definitely, think. yeah, it's super nostalgic. It was mm -hmm. like, for some reason, even the smell of his mask, like the smell of his prosthetics <laughs> was like nostalgic. Like it smelled like powder. Yeah. <laughs> Talcum powder. And I was like, yeah. wow, it's nostalgic, taking me right back. Did you all work with the, uh, the grown ups? Now, of course, this is 27 years later and uh, everybody's in this movie, but there's grown-up versions of your characters. How did you all, did they go to you for advice? Did they say, hey, how should I you know, think of this as I'm doing this scene? You're nodding, so tell me, tell me about that. 
Uh, well, she, she did ask me yeah. kind of uh, how she would play the role of Beverly. I didn't really know much, have much to give her because, you know, it's, I, I, she, can, she, can, uh, she can do that. She's just interesting. Uh, but uh, I did just talk about uh, kind of who Beverly is and um, kind of her relationships with the losers. And uh, um, she used kind of the first film as a blueprint. So uh, by the time I actually saw a few shots of her doing uh, uh, some scenes, she kind of, she got my mannerisms down, like packed. <laughs> it was kind of fun just kind of seeing um, kind of the stuff that I do on, an, on Jessica Chastain doing it as well. So it was really fun kind of seeing her play me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was it surreal to see grown-up versions of your characters? Yeah, it's super interesting, especially seeing them together and seeing how everyone not only looks like their younger selves, but even acts like it. Like, Isaiah Mustafa has like the same like Aura. classiness and, and, and charmingness as Chosen, and then like everyone, and then James Winston's just as crazy as Jack. And so seeing that was just so awesome. Yeah, especially like James Ransom and Bill Hader, like them interacting was, was yeah. really funny to see. An older version was, it was really it was cool. crazy. All right, something that I did not ask the first time that we talked at IT, and we're gonna do a show of hands. Who here, if at all, is afraid of clowns? Um, wow. I'm not. Not really. I'm not afraid of clowns. I'd be afraid of clowns if it was like chasing me with a mallet. But <laughs> a mallet? it wouldn't be because it's a clown. I guess, I don't know. It'd be because someone's chasing you with a mallet. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say uh, clowns now aren't really that scary, but kind of clowns in like the old, older times. Yeah, dude, like Purio. Earlier Puro. generation. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Puro. totally. Earlier you know generation. Yeah, exactly. That guy's freaky. Yeah. That thing was freaky. I don't even know what that is, but like I saw, I saw that. Puro, they're kind of like, like black company. and white. They have like the, yeah, the that was pointy hat. Those mimes, that was freaky. Yeah. If that was like, coming up and I was like, it was like, it was like, in, like a musty room, like I'm gonna do a puppet shit. That'd be freaky. <laughs> but like the whole like, like, like the whole freak show, mallet chasing thing, it doesn't freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start off by saying happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you, Dave. Yeah, good yeah, to see you Yeah, it is my you. birthday. It is my birthday. It is really your birthday. Yeah. Uh, Ryan's is in a couple of days. Yeah, right, and we're, we're all Virgos here. See? Um, that was the requisite for being in the movie. To have a birthday close to each other? Yeah. Well, mine's May, so I guess I won't be in the third part, if there's one. <laughs> hey, man, uh, we, we met at the first IT, mm -hmm. and I was so excited. And, of course, as you know, people flock to the theaters to see that. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. You had to have had, like, the biggest smile on your face as you saw people were just loving it. I was very pleased. And as you know, you know watching the reactions of the audience is, is really you know, the moment where you actually... Uh, can get those feelings back, you know? Making a movie is a very fragmented uh, and calculated process and it's, it's, uh, you're isolated with, with the crew uh, and the post crew for a long time. So, and the first time that you test screen it, you know, or uh, every time that I, uh, that I screen the movie, it's like, you know, all those feelings coming back. And it's through the, you know, through watching the, the audience. You really turned this one up a couple of notches, though. Pennywise is more intense. It, oh, yeah. Was it just me seeing it, or was that your intention? Because if it was, I mean, yeah. you really turned it up on this one. Yeah, definitely. All Everything that is wrong with Pennywise is intensified in this second movie. <laughs> so, you know, he's more perverse. He's more manipulative. Uh, he comes with a vengeance. Uh, and he's ultimately one step ahead of the losers. I heard that Stephen King gave you a review. Uh huh. He did, and yeah. then he reached out to you. Were you nervous when you heard from him? Uh, a review of the movie? Yeah, I heard that he said he was real happy with it, the first one. And oh, the first one, he, he just go, went publicly saying that, that it, uh, it, it exceeded his expectations, uh, which is like, it's like the, the endorsement is, uh, you can not get you know, anything better than that. And Stephen King is my is one of my all-time heroes. Right. So for me, it was a uh, you know phenomenal. What kind of guidance did you give the cast? I mean, obviously this is 27 years later. You've got the grown-ups playing now the kids. Uh, for them to get into that mindset of playing, I'm just curious what kind of guidance you give to a cast to to get into that mindset. Well, there was a lot of talking, and each of the characters is a world 
uh, in itself. So there was a lot of talking about like the journey of each one of these characters. So I took the time to really, you know, be on the same page with each one of the actors. I encouraged them to watch the performances of the kids, the first one. Uh, they did it anyway. They would have done it anyway because it's part of the, the work. And, and, and that's, how it, that's how it happened. That's how it uh, approached. I, um, I have to throw this in. I want to thank you on behalf of the us folks in Texas and Houston. We're doing a blood drive this weekend, yeah. uh, opening weekend there at the uh, Edwards Marquee at Regal Theater. And everybody, you all, your cast, your crew, your awesome studio, Warner Brothers, is sending posters to everybody that gives blood, mm -hmm. uh, some swag from the movie. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, our reserves were sent to El Paso. Uh, oh, but uh, yeah, yeah so we're trying to get everybody to go out there. So give blood this weekend. I hope it goes very well. Yes, and so we want to just thank you. No, thank you, Dave. Great to see you again. Nice to, to meet you, you. and uh, early happy birthday to you, sir. Oh, thank you. You're the first to wish me. Is today your birthday? No. A couple no. of days. Today yeah. is the director's birthday. Ah. And in a few days is moi. By the way, this is the coolest, except for the, yeah, bugs Welcome and... to your worst nightmare. <laughs> is that what's going <laughs> on? Wow. I do yeah. like Chinese food, though, but I just realized there's bugs in the soup. Better yeah. not touch that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And an eyeball or two. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, what? Okay, so there's scary elements here, and there's scary elements to the film, but I think there's so much more. So my first question to you both, what makes this more than just a scary movie? Well, just like the first film, um, there's a lot of heart in the film, and I think what makes Stephen King more than a scary writer is that he writes psychological horror where the monsters are inside of us, right. uh, and we have to defeat our own demons. And our film deals a lot with the trauma of childhood, uh, and these characters have to pull out from their memories the things that they've suppressed um, in order to be free of their past. What was the most challenging for you to be in a movie like this? Just the stamina and pace you had to keep up every day. This was a fairly long shoot. It was almost four months long. Um, and Andy Muschietti, the director, would come with these absurd and big ideas every day that we would have to accomplish. Like there's a sequence between Jessica and I where she's covered in 5,000 pounds of blood, I'm covered in 5,000 pounds of sand, and Andy was like one day, let's like flip this upside down, this whole scene. So we were in this, this box they'd built, like hanging from wires off yeah. the roof for a few days. Um, so yeah, just having the stamina and staying with the determination of, of the director was, um, was quite out of it. There's a lot of action in this movie. Yeah. For it being the horror, you know, genre, I was surprised. People are getting just thrown around, people are getting beat up, I mean, more so than I think I've seen. So the blood story is true then. I read about that. It's true? Oh yeah. I think it's, they were saying it's the most blood ever used in one scene. Wow. I think it's 5,000 gallons? Yeah, or, it was 5,000. It got misprinted as four and a half, but it was actually five. <laughs> Before I get out of here, I want to thank you and the cast. Uh, obviously, in the news, we've heard about things that are going on in Texas. But in Houston, we're having a blood drive um, this weekend, actually, at the Edwards uh, Marquee. And they'll be showing it, too. But uh, you all are providing materials from the film and posters and things for people to donate blood to help the victims in El Paso. And, of course, the, the stocks in, in Houston, the reserves, have been depleted. So thank you on behalf of all of us in Texas for providing that and providing some entertainment. People will... Uh, We'll participate this weekend, we hope. Well, our hearts hope are so. with you guys. Absolutely. H-Town is in the house. Okay, tell me, there's, when somebody says that, I have to ask, okay, I say H-Town, what, have you been to Houston? You like Houston? Yeah, I played for the Houston Oilers. That's right. <laughs> Dude, that's right, I read that last night, my bad. Wow. I was one of the last receivers to ever play for the Houston Oilers. Uh, you were playing the Dome then? No, I literally one of the last receivers. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, because, <laughs> because 10 days later, we became the Tennessee Oilers. <laughs> well, okay, that's right. I did read that. Oh, well. Yeah. well. So I never got my Dome experience. But... Bill, good to see you again. Yeah, good to um, So, show of hands, bunch of guys here we're hanging out, but I, I want to see if there's anybody truly afraid of clowns. Is there anybody here afraid of clowns? Nope. No. No. Nope. Nope. Not me. I'm more annoyed. More annoyed. Let's yeah. talk about that then. I mean, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, all right, I got it. I get it. I get it. Back up with your rigs. I don't, I don't need any seltzer. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm with you. 
<laughs> you know what, by the way, that was a really good clown that you did. Uh, it was. Though. It was. The... <laughs> so, this is a scary movie, but it really is kind of not. Mm -hmm. it seems like there's more action in this than I've seen in most scary movies, am I right? It seems, people getting tossed everywhere, thrown or beat I, up. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. I really? Seen yeah, it. we haven't seen it yet. Andy's, seen, Andy's it. seen it, though. Am I right? Yeah. No, I mean, it's huge. It's a big, it's a big movie, right? Yeah, but I mean, as far as like the action that's it's in this is like, when you all were filming, were you guys just really getting beat up and... Yeah, they were, yeah, without yeah, a doubt. Was, there was a lot of, yeah, you guys have a lot of yeah, crazy stuff. there were a lot stuff. of stunts and stuff to do. Uh, lots of running through <clears> like <throat> gigantic set pieces being in the yeah. cisterns, you know. Bumps and bruises in that splash uh, set piece. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was really slippery in there. Yeah. Yeah. Did you work with the, the younger, the counterparts? You guys are the older... No. no, but did you, as far as like before you even shot? Oh. Now obviously you wouldn't work with it. No. But no. You, well, we met, we did like a speed dating thing, but I didn't actually participate really in that because Finn wasn't there. So. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. But they wrote you letters, I heard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was cool. Very Not sweet. To tell us what was in Very it, sweet. It just gave me a blueprint of what I should do. You know, it was like line by line, don't screw this up, do this, move your head this way when you say it, it was, uh, it was just telling me what to do, why it is very, very smart. Yeah. When you saw Skarsgård, what was it like when he was on the set, in character? It was pretty mellow, man. He's, he's, you know, I think he's a just a very, um, you know, confident and, and, and giving actor. So he was just kind of like settled in. It's it's real fun to watch him drop into that character, though. Did you see the movie? Yeah, we saw it last night. Yeah. So if you'll notice, I actually never had any screen time with him whatsoever. There's a lot going on, man. No, I know. But I yeah, but it's, 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 I, yeah. I didn't get to work with him the entire time. I'm trying time. to think, yeah, that's, but I don't want We're never on school the whole time. So is there an adrenaline rush to do a film like that is the horror genre as opposed to doing a other type, whether it's a drama or something like that? Does it feel, is there, I mean, we're scared just watching it. It really is a thriller. I think the scare part is more about like the director's vision and the editing yeah. of it. I think the actual, of, you know, doing it is, I, speaking for myself, it's just like any, Thing else, you're just trying not to suck and be as authentic as you possibly can. And well, but, the things you, you have know. to contend with are a lot more sort of like liquids that you don't have to deal with. All <laughs> sure. like blood, you know sure. what I mean? Like blood and swimming and grime and just like you know, yeah, you don't have to deal with in a rom com. Well, maybe some rom coms. Bill, you want to take that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll close with this. Um, did you guys go back and watch the original, the the It uh, from 2017? Kind of getting ready for this. I watched it on the plane on the way there. Uh, that was just happened to be on the plane. I watched it. It's just a good movie. It was helpful, not so much in watching Finn, but just uh, getting the tone of the movie. You know, like just figuring out what the tone is. Yeah.